Hey friends, once again welcome back to the channel. I am Gaurav and that's part 8 of this series. So in today's video, we are gonna enhance our player's movement, right? Okay, so let's get started. But first, as I always say, if you are new in this channel, then please check out our previous videos first and also subscribe to this channel and then hit the bell icon. It's absolutely free. Okay, so as you see here, it's our project and it has a camera, direction light, wall and ground, player, obstacles and the enemy. Alright, let's give a tag to our player and hit play button. Let's see is there everything is fine or not. Hmm, it works fine, right? Well, there is an issue. You see that? If you notice that, our plate just passed through from that obstacle. It looks like a player floating on the water, like a water's buoyancy effect, right? Because we aren't using rigid body, so that's why we are getting that buoyancy effect. Because currently we are directly manipulating player's transform, so that's why our plate just passed through from the wall. Uh, so instead of this, we will move our player using rigid body, okay? Because as I told you in the previous video, that rigid body component is responsible to add physics forces on game object, right? So let's fix that issue and uh, open the player movement script. And here we see it's our movement logic. Very simple, isn't it? Well, now I'm gonna tell you another way to move our player okay let's see for now just comment that entire logic and down here we will create a separate function for player movement void process input and in it we will create some conditions uh, like if input dot get axis horizontal greater than zero then move right if it's uh, less than zero then move left and same for the vertical inputs. Okay, let's check our input by simply using debug.log and call that process input function in update. Hop back to the unity and hit play button. Now here you see that it has given correct outputs. Up, down, left and right. Nice. Head back to the script again and in the start function we will get a rigid body from our player cause this time we will move player through rigid body component which we attached on our player in the last video, remember? Okay rb equal to get component rigid body and here we need rigid body type variable to store rigid body right now down there we will use add relative force to move our player i'm using add relative force function cause uh, i want to move our player relatively straight in one direction okay now it takes two parameters first one is vector 3 force and the second one is a force mode now here you see we have bunch of options to choose one but cause we wanna move right so we will use vector3.forward it's same as 0 on x and y and 1 on the z okay so here we need our another parameter and it's a type of force and it's a velocity change now paste it to all and change their vector3 type Actually to move right we just simply use vector3.right and, and here change it to left and uh, for up it's a forward and for down it's back. Ok so head back to the unity again and uh, let it compile. Hit play button and see what we got here. Whoops oh no we got a chaos here. For now our player looks like a football right. Let's fix it and uh, it's very easy to fix 
and here in the place widget body you see there is the one little arrow button and here you see some checkboxes there are for freezing positions and rotation so in our case we don't want our player to jump or move in y position okay and also for the rotation we don't want any rotation on x and z axis right now let's see hit the play button and here we see it's moving nicely hmm actually we should freeze y rotation too And now here you see that our player can't pass through from the wall and obstacles. No matter how hard player will hit the wall and obstacles, awesome. Now let's focus on its speed and bounce. Currently you see that our player just moved too fast and also we need to fix player's bounce cause we change almost everything in a player movement script. Right, so let's hop back to the script again and here you see before we were using that logic with the player movement logic but now we will use that code separately. Okay so here you see we are clamping players offsets and now we will use it separately. But first let's hop back to the editor and here I'm gonna hide uh, these walls so that we can understand correctly what we are gonna do here right. And now, when I hit play button, you see that our player just moved too far from the camera and uh, and that we don't want it. Currently we can't even able to tweak our player's speed and bounce from the hierarchy, right? To fix that, let's hop back to the script again and uh, here we need to create another function for bounce, okay? Void clamping pause and in it we will use that previous logic so cut these lines and paste them here and uncomment them now we are getting that red squiggly lines cause now we aren't using these variables anymore so just get rid of them and it will be fine and don't forget to call clamping pause function in update let's test it head back to the unity and let it compile and hit play button here you see now we can able to clamp our players movement that's awesome now one issue is fixed so jump back to the script again to focus another one which is a speed controller and it's very easy to fix, even you can fix it by yourself. Take that challenge and fix that by yourself. So pause that video and try it and uh, I'll meet you in a second. So welcome back again. I hope you guys took that challenge and fixed your problem. I mean the speed issue, right? No? Well it's okay, let's fix it together. Here down there in the process input function we just need to multiply with the speed and the time dot delta time to vector 3 dot right and do the same for the all axis now get rid of these commented lines of codes we no longer needed them anymore let's head back to the unity and uh, let it compile hit play button And here you see now we can able to tweak our player speed. That's amazing. But still there is an issue which is now our player has a jittery moment. So hop back to the script again and here you see currently we are using clamping pause and process input in the update function but there is a problem you know almost all beginners do that mistake to calling physics related functions in update so where we call them if update isn't good for physics well there is a function which is a fixed update it works same as update but the time is fixed let me show you how as you know that the update called once per frame so you know that update is depends on frame not on time so its performance varies it depends on our system means if our system is good then we will get good frame rate per second even unexpectedly higher rate but if the system is poor then you will get very less frame rates per second right 
so unlike the update if we talk about fixed update then it will always call at a certain amount of time means the frames are fixed but we can manipulate its value let's see how we can do that hop back to the unity and here in edit then project setting and here you see there is a time and when we click on time you will see here we have fixed timestamp and it has a value 0.02 and that's the time when our fixed update will call so here we can change its time okay so that's why we call physics related function in fixed update like a movement related function so that our frame rates are always in a certain way and another function like uh, clamping should call an update at fine. And here cause we are using fixed update so instead of uh, time dot delta time we will use time dot fixed delta time. Note that in the fixed update we will always use time dot fixed delta time almost every time. Hop back to the unity and let's see what we got here. Let it compile and hit the play button. Uh oh. We are still getting same jittery moment. Let's go back to the script to see which mistake have we made. And uh, here our code just looks fine I think. It's fine. Back to unity again. Let's reduce its speed and uh, check. Hit play button. Um, nah. We are still getting that annoying jittery moment. Well, let's create a physics material and put it in the physics material folder. Now reduce its uh, dynamic friction and static friction to zero. Friction combined uh, should be minimum and now apply it on our player. Hit play button and let's see uh, and we are still getting that annoying jittery moment I don't know why let's see again oh yeah actually we just need to set interplate on players rigid body and uh, now let's see hit play button and uh, I'm 100% sure that time now our player movement gonna be smooth and nice oh yeah here you see now there is no jittery movement and it's so smooth and nice i'm very happy with the player movement and uh, let's remove physics material from our player actually we don't want our player to slip always instead of player we should use that physics material on the walls and obstacles so that we will not gonna stuck with the wall while running from the enemy right and yeah look at that smooth movement looks so amazing and in the next video we'll make our player to rotate left and right like this so okay guys now i think the video is ending now and uh, i'll meet you in the further upcoming video so till then keep learning keep practicing take care and see you later